I'm going to show you how to spawn in a Procoptodon, a saddle, and the Easter Bunny costume. And of course, we'll go over what the TLC patch has done to his features. What's up guys, I'm Fatty McButterpants, and yes, that is true, I'm gonna show you how to spawn in a Procoptodon, the Procoptodon saddle, and the Easter Bunny costume that goes on the Procoptodon. And we'll go over exactly what happened with the TLC patch and what's different about the Procoptodon. Now this has all been done on the PC. Console users, you'll be looking at getting this patch around the end of February 2018. If you don't know how to use admin commands, check out the card up top. Otherwise, let's get into spawning this stuff in. All right, now there are a couple different admin commands you can use to spawn in a Procoptodon. This is the one I'm choosing to use, the GM summon command. That's GM summon space quotation marks Procoptodon underscore character underscore BP underscore C. Close those quotation marks and then put the level of the Procoptodon you want it to be immediately after. Now the one I just spawned in is a 1500 because you also get the taming bonus. Let's go ahead and try it again. And let's spawn another one in. There we go. Name your Procoptodon. I'm going to skip that right now. But guys, that's the command I like to use when spawning in dinosaurs. Um, because it spawns them in tamed and you get to pick the level of the dino. Now here's what they look like. You can uh, see that there is, a, there is somewhat of a difference. Let's actually go in here and see a side-by-side -side picture of what it used to look like versus what it looks like now. As you can see on the left, that's what they look like now as opposed to the right, uh, which now now looking at it it looks kind of like a uh, you know a hand-drawn face anyways let's take a look at the differences what we got here um, it received a model update the animation update and uh, the sounds and some new abilities it takes reduced fall damage it, its carry weight is noticeably increased you can carry small creatures and baby dinos in its pouch there's been a knockback kick which is added added in an aimed jump which can be used by holding down the jump key the characters that are carried in the pouch, so if you jump in or if your friend jumps in the pouch, the food consumption rate has been reduced. And also, babies are imprinted while being carried in the Procoptodon pouch and they receive more affinity. So let's go ahead and test some of that stuff out. Here I have a Jaboa sitting on my shoulder. Let's see if it can carry small dinosaurs in its pouch. You go over here, select pickup, and then you select pick up your boa in pouch there we go grabbed it off my shoulder let's take a look let's see if it's in its pouch and voila there you go my little baby jaboa is sitting in the pouch of my procoptodon all right that's pretty cool so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing all right so let's see let's test out the attacks now there's the bite that it always had all right let's see oh there's the new jump kick there we go uses its tail for balance you can see that and then double kicks with the legs. All right, so let's test out the new jump ability. I'm holding down the jump button and I'm looking to the right. Let's see if it aims. And let go. Holy crap, does this ever work? Woo, this thing is awesome. Look at how far I jumped. All right, all right, let's test this out one more time. Hold down the jump key, look to the right. Oh my God, look how far this thing can jump. Woo! Alright guys, so now let's check out the saddle and we'll check out the bunny costume right after that. As you can see on the bottom, the commands for the saddle and the bunny costume are down there. So this is what the saddle looks like on him. Looks pretty cool. Alright, you can definitely tell the fur looks a lot different so does the face. But uh, yeah, this is what the saddle looks like on him now. Pick up my Draboa again. I don't want to hold on to him. You can hold on to him. All right, so that's pretty cool. So uh, now let's check out to see what the bunny costume looks like. Let's go over here, access the inventory, and we'll move the bunny costume over on him. And let's see what the bunny looks like. All right, I don't know if the bunny changed too much, but uh, man, it sure looks a lot better on PC, I'm telling you. I don't know if it's the new TLC update or not. All right, guys, here are the admin commands we used in this video. The top two are the commands for the Procoptodon itself. Those are two different commands. Like I said, I prefer the GM Summon command because they come in tamed and you can choose the level of the dino, which is in gold there. Also, underneath that we have the Procoptodon saddle. That's just the normal saddle. And then underneath that we have the Easter Bunny costume, GFI space Procop Bunny. 
And then last but not least, don't forget to type in cheat space before any of these commands if you are not on single player. The gold numbers are numbers that are customizable to you. You can change the amount of those items you're spawning in or change the level of the dino that you're spawning in. Alright guys, well if you like this video, you know what to do. And also don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one. If there's anything you want to see spawned up into ARK, leave those in the comments down below because some of the best ideas do come from you guys. So look for more of these TLC dino videos coming out because there's been several changes to the dinosaurs and I'll be showing you how to spawn them all in and all the things that go along with it because I am Fatty McButterpants and I will see you guys next time. Click the box up top for a full playlist of all my admin command spawning videos. Click the bottom two boxes for some more videos you might like.